Hello everyone, this is Tasnu Aparhin. Today I will be presenting our work, HCM Image Analysis on Covert Gates as Proof of Reverse Engineering Barrier. So first, I will talk about the motivation behind our work, relevant background, our proposed approach, which is resilient against reverse engineering, the relevant work, analysis, and conclusion. So the Internet of Things creates a new era as one of the most prominent and promising novelties in technology. And the heart of this Internet of Things is cheap or integrated circuits. So hardware security plays an important role in ensuring trust, integrity, and authenticity of ICs and electronics. The motivation of our work centers around the reverse engineering, which is a mandatory step for most of the hardware attacks. So here, IC reverse engineering involved four distinct phases, as you can see in these figures, and they involve decapsulation, delayering, imaging, and post-processing. So what is actually IC camouflaging techniques? So IC camouflaging techniques protects IP from reverse engineering by disrupting the ability of the attacker to identify logic gates from the images obtained after delaying and imaging. So let's illustrate with an example. So the image shown in here is an ACM image of a smart card die taken in our lab with several areas deprocessed. So let's zoom into the red area. These shapes and patterns represents rows of standard cells. An attacker reverse engineer the design needs to identify these repeating patterns from such images to extract the IC functionality. For example, I have highlighted three standard cells we have identified which are repeated multiple times in this small area of the design. So after reverse engineering the interconnects, it is trivial to obtain the IC netlist from which malicious activities can be launched. Here, camouflage plays the roles causing some of the gates in the netlist obtained through the reverse engineering process to become ambiguous. So thus the attacker must launch additional attack to recover the entire netlist. So we proposed a new camouflaging technique where our goal was to convert the attacker's problem to the one of the right where every cell in the design is a suspect chemo cell without introducing considerable overhead. So doing so essentially blows the problem up for the attacker and makes invasive and non-invasive attacks unscalable. So to summarize the rest of the presentation, we were successful in the following slides. We will see how we accomplished it. We developed what we call the covert gate, which fulfills the above requirements. A covert gate doesn't have multiple functionalities, rather it consists of dummy inputs. These dummy inputs have no effect on the real design, but are completely undesirable from normal inputs under SDM. Since every gate can potentially have dummy inputs, the attacker now need to encode or model and attack every network gate in the design. So in order to create covert gate, we require variants of regular PMOS and NMOS transistor that you are seeing in these figures. So we want to make sure to our analysis that these variants are indistinguishable under ACM imaging in different operating conditions. To analyze our proposed approach, we fabricated prototype in-house. So here the fabricated prototype along with different color code represent different type of contacts. Some are camouflage structure and some are real. We want to do the ACM image analysis to prove that attacker cannot distinguish these camouflage gates resulting in the failure in reverse engineering. So to take the image, we use test comparatory in different operating conditions that shown in the table. So after taking the images, we analyze these images to prove the prototype indistinguishability. 
from the naked eyes, the images taken in different conditions look same, right? So we did the quantitative analysis showing intensity versus distance graph. So the intensities of the prototype contacts overlap so much that it is not possible to tell which ones are real and which ones are dummy contacts. So thus, this proves our claim, right? So we also wanted to do the machine learning based analysis as feature representation, we considered the intensity profile and shape features. The technique was unsupervised learning as the attacker will not have the database of the context to train the model in supervised way. The evaluation metrics were Euclidean distance and cosine similarity. And the result representation was in rockers. So from the rock curves and KMS accuracy table, the real contacts and dummy contacts, we can see that the classification of different contacts was unsuccessful, proving our proposed approach of camouflaging technique in reverse engineering. So in conclusion, we have studied a modification in our fabrication of covergate camouflaging design. Then we fabricated the real and dummy contacts in different structure with the ECM imaging in different operating conditions. Then we did the manual quantity analysis analysis as well as the machine learning based pattern recognition confirming the insignificant difference between the real and dummy contact structure in ACM imaging proving as a reverse engineering barrier. So if you have any further inquiry, you can reach out to me. Thank you.